Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 31st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the continue statement in PHP. So the continue statement is used to skip iterations of loops and uh, through this example we're going to understand how it works and uh, I have a file opened up in my text editor it's called continue.php and on line number 6 in the file I have the opening PHP tag on line number 17 I have the closing PHP tag in between the tags I have some code so what we're going to do in this uh, tutorial is we're going to create an array variable which is going to have some whole number values as elements it's going to have some fractional values and it's also going to have some string values and we're going to use the for each loop to move over the different elements in the array and uh, we're only going to display the numeric values you know whenever we encounter a string value we're not going to display so in a way we will skip those iterations in which the placeholder variable takes in string elements from the array right so I have created uh, an array on line number seven it's called uh, ARR that's the name of the variable I've used the array function to put in it the elements 10 15 20 23.5 6 then there's a string value fender I have another whole number 11 and then I have another string value strat so there are two string uh, values and uh, then I have a for each statement on line number eight and it takes in the array name and then the keyword as and then the name of the placeholder variable which is dollar val in this case and then inside the body of the for each loop I have an if statement which is going to check the uh, type of the uh, element that's currently assigned to the placeholder variable val so in the first iteration 10 is going to be assigned to this in the second iteration val is going to take the value 15 and third iteration it's going to take 20 so on and so forth up till strat and the get type uh, statement uh, or sorry the get type function is going to check you know whether the value uh, that's in the variable val has the type string or not and if it does have the type string then it's going to continue right which means that it's not going to execute the remaining two statements in the body of the for each loop it's going to immediately go back and it's going to you know skip over this value and it's going to move to the next value so what's going to happen is till 23.56 we're going to see values on the screen and then as soon as the variable val is going to go is going to get the value fender this get type function is going to uh, you know lead to this test condition resulting into a true value which means that we'll get inside the body of the if statement here and uh, you know this statement would be executed and it's going to move back to the for each uh, loop statement and then the variable val is going to get the value 11 and you know this is going to fail and these two statements will be executed and then in the next iteration it's going to take in the value strat again this if statement would evaluate to true so continue will be executed and we'll again get back to for each and you know we will reach the end of the loop so sorry the end of the variable uh, ARR so we won't see any more elements I'll save the file and show you guys the output and uh, the name of the file is continue when I press the enter key I see only numeric values I see 10 15 20 23.5 6 and 11 so if I remove this continue statement and save the file and press the enter key I also see the string values I see fender and strat but continue allows me to skip over those values save and uh, refresh the page so that we only see the numeric values right so and the, the continue statement is actually pretty simple you don't even have to type in parentheses after the keyword continue you just type in the word and a semicolon so it's similar to break in terms of how it's put inside the uh, blocks but it works in a different way and in the next tutorial we're going to talk about the break statement we'll see how it is different from the continue statement but this is how you use continue statement and uh, in case you have any doubts regarding you know how it's used with other loops and you can uh, comment on this video and I'll uh, you know maybe share some code with you which you can execute at your end and you know that will help you understand things in a better way but this is pretty simple I believe and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'll see you in the next video till then take care